Welcome back, folks, to Y Caliber. I'm your guide, Matt, and we're playing Mars Warlogs. We we're talking to that merchant, and that was about that. So I think we were coming over here for a reason. It's been a while since I played this again. It's very busy at the end of the term. I have a few questions to ask you, if it's okay. Actually, I hate talking. You said your parents were in the militia? Yes, my father got wounded in combat a long time ago, but he didn't want to stop fighting. So when the militia started, he and my mother joined up. Huh. I understand he'd be pissed off getting injured, but it really couldn't be any good for the militia having a guy with a broken skull around. Hmm. Well, not everyone in the militia fought. There are a lot of ways of making yourself useful. Inconceivable. Fighting or nothing. Come on, let's go. Uh, so what are we doing here? That's the merchant. And we're going to an out-of-the-way place. Okay. That sounds safe. I mean, honestly, you can tell me in the comments, when was the last time a bad thing happened to you in an out-of-the-way place? With nobody around to watch and see what was happening. Never, right? I know. It's crazy that they'd even even think of it. Uh, oh, okay. Fine. I don't know who these people are, but they clearly want to die, so... Well, you know, we can hope for the best, but... At the end of the day, those guys aren't going to fall over unless we hit them hard enough. Oh, a new weapon seems to do fairly well, but it's still not really doing that much damage. You don't... you just don't seem to get to do that much damage when you hit people. No item found. That's my favorite result. I don't know about you. Man, I lost a... bolt. And there's another... glowing non-glowing thing. Oh, good, I got nail gun ammo. Ask and you shall receive, right? Boy, it's cramped in here. Alright. Out of the way place. Okay, so we want to go down... up this ladder. The opposite of the word that I used is what we want to do, as is so often the case, I'm sure. Alright. Is this out of the way enough? Oh, hey, what's up? Bullshit, that hit me. I am annoyed by that. And punchy punchy, you're dead. I guess I gotta step my game up. Need information, and I figure we're gonna need charity for that. I step my game up and start paying more attention. Oh, that was all I had to do here? Beat up some junkies? Well, that's hardly a difficult task. And it's done now, so I mean... Great. Let's go see if any of these are stealth boxes. There is a still. Oh no, it's just a tile of junk. Someone was mentioning that this is starting to remind them a bit of Dragon Age 2, where you're searching through piles of literal garbage. And that's true! Though I hesitate, well, not hesitate, I hasten to remind you that searching through piles of literal garbage was not unique to the second Dragon Age game. A lot of people tend to overlook some of the dumber aspects of the original Dragon Age. Most of which you can see in my playthrough, which is ongoing as a side project whenever I don't have anything else to do. As a side note, lots of people ask me, when are you going to finish Dragon Age Origins, or when are you going to finish uh, Ruthless? And the answer is, whenever I don't have anything else I want to do. Those are my side projects for when I have time but nothing to record. Because they're just for fun. There's no one 
you know, pining to see what's new in Dragon Age Origins or what's new in Mass Effect 2. Those games have been around for a while. And they're just fun. Just doing it to have a good time, try something, try something different. Alright, and back out to here. So yeah, they're side projects. Speaking of projects, though, you should all go check out uh, Grimmoth's channel. He's doing a Rewarding the Rewarders opportunity again this year, and uh, he's going to have that up until, I guess, the beginning of July. And you should definitely check that out because, well, I mean, it's Grimmoth. He's one of the best YouTube commenters out there. I rarely, you know, am anything but thoroughly entertained by everything he does. So, you know, I, I pitched in some money and suggested a game to him. I don't know if we'll actually play it, but, you know, we, we can hope. I think it would be a fun game for him to do. But that's just because I liked it. Boop! So you should all go and uh, participate in the Rewarding the Rewarders opportunity over at Grimmoth's channel. Because it's worth it. For the amount of entertainment you get from that dude for free, may as well give him a little something something. Ooh, 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 come on, keep moving. Aha! Another corner box. This one's glowing, at least. Ooh, health injection packs are useful. Can always use those every once in a while when I get beat up enough. Where am I even going? Towards there. I wanted to go this way. But I wasn't paying enough attention. Because I'm an idiot. It's Wednesday, so I'm going to be fairly busy in about an hour, off doing, uh, let's, uh, I don't want to take the long way around every time, off doing Dragon Age RPG with, uh, with my buddies. Hey, hey you, sir, listen, do you think you could help me out? Frugality? Problem. <laughs> you can say that again, but I think you, you're the guy for the job. From what I've seen, you're not the kind scared of duking it out with scumbags. Or anyone. I'm not planning on making a career out of it. Of well, course, of course, maybe. It's for a good cause, see? There's this gang of junkies that's set up in my workshop. I can't go there anymore. And if I can't work, well, I can't earn a living. I'll pay you, of course. I think I already took care of that. So I get a bunch of addicts out of your place. Then what? Then I'll give you some serum, of course. And if you ever need a hand, you just let me know. Turnabout and all that, right? I hear it's fair no, play. I'll go see those squatters. Thank you, thank you so much. I owe you. And actually, I'm the craftsman around here. Okay. Roy, wandering evictor. Later. Let's get the junkies and frugalities workshop out. Oh, okay. So it's just a fight. Just a straight up burly brawl. Just move, dude. Is this the one here? Yeah, it's this one right here. Don't you take me for a fool, Chance. I can see you've been taking it again. You're looking for trouble? Last time wasn't enough? Yeah, right. They'll let us go in the end. I or not, they don't give a shit about us. Hey, anyway, this place is the perfect hangout. We'll be quiet here. You're not being very quiet right now. Mr. Frugality from working. And the soldiers only let you go because I begged the lieutenant, all right? Okay. Together, but he won't keep looking the other way forever. Mom, don't make me look bad in front of my friends. Leave us the fuck alone, man. Yeah, Mom. Stop making him look bad and go suck your lieutenant off. And tell him he didn't see nothing, huh? Hey, shut the fuck up, man. This guy's got a super annoying voice. Are they just gonna keep standing there? I was hoping one of them could leave. Hey, you guys, you're not going to see anything, okay? Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Hey, come back. Yes. Close your eyes. You're not closing your eyes. You're, you're a bad listener. Fine, you go in. You close your eyes. No, don't look over there. Look the other direction. No! Other direction. There you go. Good enough. Hey, boys. Who wants to party? What? I'm the candy man. Delivery man, I got an order to deliver a dozen kicks in the ass at this address. We'll <laughs> that was so stupid. Oh yeah? Did, 
Just try it, you fuck. Bleep, bleep. Bleep, 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 bleep. Please don't We're a family-friendly channel here. Kids. They look old enough to stand and walk to the door. Unless maybe they want to crawl. Crawl, boy. They know what they're doing. That drug makes them that way. They have no idea what they're doing. I don't accept that. To other people and themselves. Don't take the drug. Are you suggesting I let a guy who didn't do a thing pay for them? No, of course not. That's not what I meant. And yet, but there's Brian no insight here. Things worse. I can hardly get through to my son. Please, they're just kids. Go after the ones who take advantage of them instead. Ah, so you're a so root causes politician. Their dealer. I don't really see how that's any of my business. I'll be happy to do they're it, though. They're here to hide, and because their dealer's nearby. <sighs> If you cut off their supply, you'll be creating a long-term answer to your problem. And you'll be saving lives. Actually, I'll be creating a power vacuum. Alright, I'll go find the dealer. Just don't make me regret it. Oh, thank you. Walter you White's gonna step in. Fast. I'm a nurse, and I know the effects of all these drugs only too well. Their dealer's called Serenity, I think. Serenity? He has a place in the shanty. I'll show you on your map. I'm gonna take the sky from right, that I'll bastard. Visit. One cloud at a time. Okay. Well, I mean, this isn't going to solve anything, because they're still going to be addicted. I have to go all the way back to the slums. Booerns! Booerns! Run, Temperance, run! Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, where am I? There. I keep forgetting this is a door, because it's completely not like a door. Except for the fact that it is clearly a door. Other than that fact, it's nothing like a door. Oh my god, they're all the way on the other side. All the way over on the other side. Well, fine. I think I left um, some perfectly good, a perfectly good body lying around somewhere because it was lay underneath another body directly. So, hey, dude, is your name Dreeler? Which is portmanteau of drug dealer. Hello? Serenity, I presume? You presume too much. If you don't know who you're dealing with, you got no business here. Curb stomp. I know who Just kidding. That's Never curb stomp. That's awful. Ask you to stop selling your shit to Chance and his gang. Ask, being a euphemism, if you even know what that means. I know what a euphemia is. Funny. Wow, that's even worse. I don't know what you're talking about. But now I'm the one asking. I'm asking you to leave real fast, or your head will be asking to get kicked in. You really don't understand you don't euphemisms. I see you're having trouble hearing me, but with a couple of kicks, I should be able to force another way into your skull. Effective what? teaching method. Okay, guys, I want to see him bleeding all over. I guarantee you that I will bleed all over the place. Hey, all right. Take advantage of this guy. Hey, dude, chill. You were right. We just had some misunderstanding, but it's all cool now. Is it Serenity? Now, one more hit for chance in those guys. I swear, they can go by somewhere else. And good riddance. I don't believe you. I was sure we could come to a mutual understanding. Oh, I leveled up. Aw, I don't even get anything from their dumb bodies. Alrighty, so that was that. I guess we've leveled up. Still a crap weapon. I guess I can sell it. Doo -doo -doo. That's not what I wanted at all. I wanted this one. Alright. Combat Spirit. More experience from learning. Learning. Beating up enemies. 
Still can't get Transformer. Charismatic we've got. Still only good reputation. Hmm. Well, I should have the best craftable items. Well, whatever. Combat Spirit it is. And... Two more points. Okay. Let's look over here. We've got the Empowering Fluid. Stable Shields. I've been using that shield, so... May as well boost that a little bit. What's this? Ten electrical damage to the attacker. Ooh! Weapon Surcharge. Focus. Focus Electric Arc. Well, I like the idea of this Irradiant Shield, but I'm also going to check over here briefly. To see if I can get this uh, quicker after receiving any sort of impacts. 50% stun duration. That's not that useful to me. To send damage could be useful. Mm, skilled Warrior might be really nice to have. I still haven't figured out counterattacks. Hopefully I will someday. So do I want the 10% or the plus 10 damage on guard break attacks, or do I want the quicker reaction after receiving an impact? I don't know how useful that is, seeing as I seem to take an impact no matter what. So I'm going to go for the uh, 10 damage on guard break attacks. Alright, good. We're done. With leveling up, not with the game. I think there's probably still quite a lot to do with the game. Is this the way I want to go? Nope. I have to go all the way back out here, past these bodies. Excuse me. Hey, you guys. Finish off. Finish off. Hmm. A Requiem for Dreamers. See how clever that is? It's a play on the name of that movie that I could only watch once in my life and then was too depressed to ever watch again. Back to the sand! As they would say in Dune. They don't, I don't think they say that in Dune. It's been a while since I read it, though. So if they don't say that in Dune, you'll have to forgive me. And if they do say that in Dune, yeah, of course I knew that. I'm really clever. Were you not aware of this? What's, what, am I, what's, what am I doing up here? Is there something that I didn't do here already? Hey. Hey, what do you want? A hug. Later. I guess nothing. There's nothing to do there. Open the door, Roy. Hey man. Thank you. I'd never be back. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went for a non-violent approach. At least with them. They decided to leave the place on their own. <laughs> yeah, well, they didn't look real happy. They even threatened me. But at least they left. That's not appropriate. Yes, I, I should think about getting some kind of weapon. I gotta be able to protect myself. Yeah. Might be a good idea, you yeah. know? The scumbags around here may not be hard to impress, but if you don't show a few teeth, you'll sleep outside again and they'll just walk all over you. Have this crappy yeah, iron bar right. I've got lying I'll around. I'll go equip myself. Or not. What's the deal with this place? How did... Uh, not all of them, really. But if I told you this part of the city used to be really happy and lively... Well, that'd be a happy and lively pile of crap. I see what you did I've there. I've been living here for 40 years now and it's only ever been a slum. THE slum, like everyone calls it. Even if none of the other parts of town are all that great either. Yeah, this place anyway, sucks. still found a way to go downhill. People weren't real happy, that's for sure, but they at least didn't go getting all violent like that. They got sold a dream, and they were let down. Boo-hoo. And, uh, who sold it to them? Who's their oh, dream dealer? Folks. Same ones that promised everybody water. 
a place in the shade, or even just a job to make life easier. You know. The same one who promised them a future if they joined the army and told everybody one day we'll all go back to Earth. There's a place called and Yeti Yogurt? there's those that try to get you to believe everything will be better as soon as you stick a needle in your arm. But those guys are smart. Half the time, what they say is true. What is this deal? One of them hangs out here, apparently. Don't ask me where, but the slums is turf. And seeing as the army doesn't come around that often, pretty much all the junkies are here. Give me this thing. I want to know about the frozen yogurt deal. Oh, he's done talking. I thought you couldn't stand those addicts. Eh, sometimes I get carried away, say things I shouldn't. But you got my workshop back for me, and that's all I needed. Oh, you I got me the wrong against country those kids, here? to be honest. You can't really say they ever had it easy. Back in the day, we weren't exactly back, huh? well off, but at least we had hope. I gotta admit, I don't really see why you stick around this dump. We moved here nearly 40 years ago, my wife and I. Wasn't the lap of luxury, but we couldn't really afford anything else. And there were things to do around here at the time. She was an artist, you know? I just ran the store. An artist? Compared to what here? she could do with her hands, the Technomancers were nothing. She was a real magician. Look, I don't need to know about her HJ skills. But I can't leave our workshop. We built it together. I'd have liked to know the place was going to survive both of us. If we'd had had a kid, that would have been what we wanted more than anything. Well, almost anything. A lot of money nice would have been it. nice, too. Uh... Since you've been living here, you must have heard about Charity, I guess. Of course. Great woman. I don't even want to think what things would be like around here without her. I oh, my. So. It's not what you think. A fan, eh? She's got good company, that's for sure. But that's not all she does. You know? No. Really? It may seem like an old-fashioned idea, but she's a good person. She helps people. And has enough influence so things run pretty much smoothly, even though the militia disappeared. Huh. There's it's that sure frozen the yogurt deal. Soldiers who are going to do that for us. Hooker or not, it's people like her that we need. Not them. Maybe Wisdom and his guard dog should try selling their bodies to see what it's like. They could do hmm. with a change of perspective. I mean, don't go repeating that, of course. You tend to relax a bit when the cat's not around. No problem. I can't even think of how to fit it into a conversation. Yeah, that would be a very awkward fit. So she said. Okay. We're done now with your interminable chatter, and we've learned a bit about stuff. Okay. Got some experience. This guy's still hanging around. I'm gonna go sell this iron bar to this guy. And then I think only a few more things left to do. I went the wrong direction. Alright. I meant to go this way. No, go up the stairs. There we go. Hi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show me what you get. Show me the stuff. Alright, so you've got all this crap that I don't need. Um, I'm still waiting to see if I was going to get um, one of these from a mission or something, but so far nothing. I might just buy it like so. And I'm going to sell you this iron bar that I don't need for the exact same price. So I rule, and in conclusion, butts. Okay. Let's upgrade you. Strong alloy, plus 29%, no it's plus 14, 11, 0, 1, 2, 10, plus 18, 10, 7, 12, 7, 0, 6, 5, uh, okay, so it looks like strong alloy is what we're going for now. We're losing some health regeneration. You know what? Um, that health regeneration is really useful, but I think I can get it with skills. And we are out of alloys. So that sucks. 
that's not good. We're going to have to either buy or make alloys somehow. So can we do that? Transform components. Oh, I can't transform alloy. Uh, but... But... All the butts. Alloy. I think I need some of that and some of that. Okay. Now... Now we're definitely going to... Oh, well, my worker's outfit is still better because it's got all the upgrades on it. Come on, give me the strong alloy. Oh, butts! Still need more alloy. Can we please just upgrade this now with the strong alloy? There we go. Okay, and these, I don't think I can put anything in there right now because I'm out of leather and alloy and I don't want to spend that much money on it. But let's see. This, I will be down to no health regeneration and my maximum health will go down? Really? Huh. Hmm. Well, can we recycle this? We can. These... So that composite had the bit of fluid regeneration, but I have no alloy. And I really need alloy and leather in order to upgrade this thoroughly. Hmm. Oh well. At least this looks better than the last uniform. It looks a little bit more badass. Hi. Want to see my merchant? Show me what you got. Mm, buy a couple leathers. A couple more alloys. Probably still can't upgrade this. Yeah, it still need more alloy in order to upgrade that properly. But I could get a little less damage reduction with a little bit of health regeneration. Let's do that. There we go. Now we've got weird bone boots. Or boner boots, if you will. Okay, now we really need to go to Charity's Bar. Pretty sure that's what we need to do. And of course, it's not in that direction at all. It's over here. I'm using a map! That'll make some of my viewers so happy. They despair of my ability to use maps, I know, sometimes. Um, this looks like Charity's place. Hello. You're in the way, sir. You have a very neat-looking super rail rifle, nail rifle, on your back. And your Charity, I'm guessing. Now before talking to you, I'm just going to check around your place, and you don't have anything good here. So... Well, well, well. Ooh. The handsome Roy is back. And with a cute little boy, too. Can't introduce us. Charity, this is Innocence. Innocence? Innocence? This is Devil Lock. This is Charity, the great lady of Chatelaire. The great lady. <laughs> don't listen to him, boy. I used to be a whore. Nothing more. But I don't that rhymes! Now you're a poet! That's kind and of you know it. To see you. We'd like to know what happened to some former members of the militia. They died. Former militia. His family, I suppose. Poor kid. Pretty much mm -hmm. all of them were arrested in a single night. No one knows what happened to them after. I imagine there's a kind of a resistance movement seeing what the government's like. Kid wants to get in touch with them. Hmm. You know, they're a secret society. And a secret society is, well, secret, you see? No. They don't exactly carry signs saying who they are. It'll take time. And I need a favor. A friend of mine a disappeared. A worker? 
And she's not the kind of girl anyone files a missing person on, if you see what I mean. Yes, she is a prostitute, she I understand. Back to go to I live Canada. in Vancouver, I'm familiar. Never came back. With prostitutes so, disappearing and no one caring. The resistance for you. Which is a shame, because prostitutes are people too. Alright, I'll take care of it. Okay, so next up... Oh my god, all the way on the other end of the map again. Well, you know what? We've completed enough quests for now. And, uh... I think I'm gonna take a break here as we head over to Tierville. Which is all the way on the other end of the map. And as we do that, um, we are going to try and find Faith. Because, as you all know... Who's talking? Is it you? Are you citizen? Yeah, looking for some renegade technomancer, they say. Can you believe that? I guess not. Anyway, so as we all know, you gotta have faith to faith to faith. And uh, in order to have the faith, we need to go... I'm gonna say this way, and I'm gonna be right for once. And get to the other end of the map. Which isn't that far, if we're being honest. Apparently we're looking for a shopping district. What? Can you say that again, dude? Tell me about the magical men full of anger. I have nothing to say. Look, man, I'm a friend of the dust. Anyway, as a friend of the dust, it's time to go. So we'll stand in this light and admire Roy's swanky new armor that he's being shy about. There we go. And until the next time, all the best.